Hey guys, um, someone asked me about um, good news, about how good news works and in this video I'm gonna tell you how it works. Good news is a uh, kind of CMD, you know, the content manage manager, so something, um, something like that, so um, for it's we can use WordPress if we if we want to manage our content, but the advantage of good news is that it's so simple and it doesn't need a database. So that's the that's perfect for the little projects. So so let's start. Um, we have to download the the zip in the official page of good news so okay we're gonna do that and I have I have it here um, okay I'm gonna create a new folder called good good news 2 because I've I've created Uh, folder with that name before it so we just need to extract them the files so and then to upload the, the, the files to our server to to yes to the server so I'm gonna upload the files in my server so Okay, um, where is, okay, we just need to, to blow up the files, the complete folder, and just waiting. Okay, it left, okay, that's it, so this is the name of the directory folder I'm gonna to I'm, I'm going to my my web uh, my website and to put the okay that's it so everything is okay we just need an uh, uh, username uh, email so and password confirm the password of course and create a admin account so okay that's it so so it confirms that everything is okay and I start working with good news okay this is good news it's so small yeah yeah this is our dashboard we have the system configuration, personal options, templates. This is, uh, this is the part that we are gonna check today. And categories, uh, integration, wish integration, wizard, media manager, users, groups, backups, comments, archives, block for just for 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 ban users. So. And additional fields for the forms and stuff so okay we're gonna add a, a test article so I'm gonna put the title here and the short story would be I need text sorry um, this text and I'm gonna put something like this I really like this <laughs> and just like that so mm, that line no I think that's it and yes needs was added so 
I need I need another another one. So this is a random text. Okay. Good. So this is our second article. So as well with <laughs> M1 icons and just like that. So we have two articles now. The first one and the second one. So this is the part where we can edit or our or current articles. So okay, um, we're gonna again to the dashboard and to check the template. This is the structure of our article, how it looks in our web page. And um, we're gonna sh see how it uh, how it looks right now with the default default um, aspect. Um, okay, this is the um, this is the name of the file where the articles are shown. So. I need to copy this and paste it in a new tab. Okay, this is okay. Um, something is ground. Um. Okay, but okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter. So. Watch it here. The, the preview of the article of the article. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And so now we just need to to include the the articles into our own website. So. I already have I have this template and so let's imagine that it's my website this is my title and this is a second title and I'm gonna put here the news and this is a footer so so just like that I'm going to I I wanna I want to put the, the articles here and um, Okay, for that, in order to put that, I need to go to the readme document of our kid news. So we just need to to check where is this file, where is, where where this file is. Um, this is the path. So kid news slash docs slash readme. So in this document we have here the, the includes for you know for uh, include the the articles and uh, into our website so okay I'm gonna copy um, this this one this is the, the most popular include so and here I have this file is this um, this web this H this this PHP document. So here is the title and news the the title news and I'm gonna put the include here so just like that and here in the path so I'm just need to put in um, the correct the correct um, the folder you know, you know so the name of the folders name and to make sure that the path of the of the 
of this file is is right. So I have to check good news and show news. Okay, it's okay. So okay and save. So I have them. This is the file. This is the the path or of my index. Let's imagine that this is my index of the website. So I need to upload the file again. Okay. And okay. This is the Okay no this is okay nice. I'm gonna replace the um, the file's name because something okay good. This is the index of my web of my website with my good news inside. Okay and upload update refresh. So that's it. So this is how we Good news works. Um, this is so basic. So um, there, there aren't the styles in the website. So <laughs> this is just an example. But this is how it works. So you just need you just need to to include um, this file. So I mean um, this file show news into your website so and if I agree something else for example if I put a third one um, for example this third word <laughs> one more fourth one more. Sorry. One more. And one more. So just remembered that I used the um, this um, this include that is showing five latest news, and it supposed that I should have five news here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the next one is in the next page. So just that. And you just need to put the styles <laughs> in your website. And that's it. That's how it works. And so and that's it for this video. So if you if you want to know more about this good news and just let me know in the in the comments and that's it for this video see you goodbye